And these are four plus four mirrored forms and one turn around. So there are basically five forms within this one titled Grab the Sparrow's Tail. Starting with this last uh, ball right, then the ordinary step, supporting with the right, and if you like, you can think about a ball, a rubber ball, you know, going from here around, feel this rubber feeling that this arm is able to get force and you are not counter forcing it you know it's the counter force is really coming from this rubber feeling you know? that's the first sub form then another that's the basic of the sparrow grab the sparrow's tail is taking an opponent's arm or something redirecting it to the sides also rotating with your weight and the hip and release that's one sub form then supporting your wrist coming again to this rubber feeling if you like in the form there is no connection from your hand to your wrist but in the beginning it's good to feel where your limbs are in the room you know so use this tactile information that's one form and this the wave taking something Keep your direction from your upper, upper body to the front while rotating your weight and your hip to the right. A little bit down, a slight loosen up and then a push with rotation of your hip and weight distribution to the left. That's the fourth subform. No? And then distributing the, your weight to the right, that your left is free to rotate 180 degrees, coming to your left standing leg and the four subforms mirrored. You know, the first step, the rubber ball, the bird's tail if you like then the wrists and the wave and there's more to it but mm, the tai chi masters from martial arts they are really happy about this grab your sparrow's tail because they are f the five major hackies if you like you know? this rubber feeling is something good because we need it all the time you know, while standing around because it's uh, also tied to your breathing your diaphragm feeling of your diaphragm and your lower diaphragm very unusual but you will notice it in time while breathing breathing because we are aiming uh, to get our awareness of course throughout the whole body but a weight point below the navel lower dantian the hara and so forth you know and after some years you can feel this globe if you like which we are filling up with key and that's 
as long you as long as you can't feel this it's a hindrance to talk about it you know that's not uh, not um, a secret uh, knowledge or something but it's uh, if you're um, putting an unknown feeling uh, a label on you know you're putting a label on an unknown thing you're building up a wall of uh, ideas you know it's better to feel your body and in the years which will come you, you will feel that everything is loosened up your blood is circulating uh, better you are living without less tension in your mind with your surroundings with your body and someday you will feel something you know? and then you will feel more and more let's keep on not giving everything a name and so forth. One more round, just with a grab the sparrow's tail, just with this form. Ball right, step, also distribution the weight to the front, to the left leg, loosen up. It's uh, really good to use the subforms as uh, yoga asanas, you know because you are learning to stand around in this pose without less and less tension you know? finding out muscles which are tense which are not needed in this moment and for this pose you know? then the sparrow's tail supporting the wrist the wave 180 degrees and that's that's the main form for the rest of the year, really. That's Tai Chi for today. And one